Y'all making me preach too hard. Number three, watch this. You got to recognize that you've been set apart for special use. Uh, when you were baptized, you were justified. The sins that separated you from God uh, have been forgiven through the death of Jesus. But after you experience the forgiveness, there's also a process called sanctification. And, and God says, I have set you apart. Lord, have mercy. He told Jeremiah, I have set you apart to be a prophet to the nations. Did y'all see that? And the word set apart means sanctified. I got to help somebody. You don't fit with everybody else you've been wondering why you don't get invited to the party you've been wondering why they don't like including you in their company because you've been set apart there is something that God has uniquely designed in you to where you can't blend in with everybody else. You've been set apart. Hebrews 12 or so says that in a large house there are many vessels. Some are used for noble purposes and some are used for common purposes. And, and, and God has set you apart so that you might know the will of God. Is there somebody listening this morning who knows that now I understand why I can't fit in and go where everybody Everybody else is going because I've been set apart as a matter of fact you've allowed people to common people to use you for common reasons when God has set you apart for noble purposes good God Almighty you've been trying to hang around with common people and feeling uncomfortable because something on the inside won't allow you to settle in the company of people who are not in your league God says I have set you apart problem with many church people is that you have not been sanctified but watch this not that God has not wanted to sanctify you you have not participated in the setting apart process you can't do what everybody else is doing you can't go where everybody else is going you your, their blessing ain't your blessing oh my God God has a path that he has cut out for you and it requires for you to be set apart in this season what do you mean pastor what does it mean to be set apart I'm glad you asked that question do you know your shape do you know your spiritual gifts your heart what your heart beats for, what makes you cry, what makes you laugh. Do you know what your abilities are, the natural talents that the Lord has given you? Do you know how your personality, uh, God wants to use your personality that, that may seem quirky for other people, but God positioned that personality to be able to handle what he's going to ask you to do. And then E, what are your experiences that have shaped you up to this point to put you in a position to where God can set you apart? The reason many people have not uh, oh my god reap the benefits of the sanctification process is because you have not participated by uh, by by identifying your shape